luckily you say that you've been seeing me every day. You will see me every hour from now. <laughs> you know, I've been involved in a number of things in uh, West Africa and in Africa. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to Kenya. On the 14th, I will be in Liberia for the Ariran elections. That is what we've been doing. So I'm like a roving ambassador, seeing how we can bring peace to the sub-region, to the continent, and indeed, our country. Uh, this happened actually, it's almost like a week ago, but we couldn't. And uh, today, it now coincided with the judgment of the Supreme Court yesterday. So it was an opportunity for me to also to congratulate Mr. President. And uh, we talked a lot about the country. And uh, so you'll soon see me, because there are certain things we discuss, and uh, the country must move forward. And uh, elections are over, so we must move forward. So with the success of the transition in Nigeria, how do you see Nigeria leading Africa? Yes, that is what all Africans are saying. I had the program, my foundation had what we call uh, uh, democracy dialogue, and uh, Professor Lumumba spoke. And he emphasized the need for Nigeria to take a lead in Africa. Because, yes, we have challenges economically now, but we still have what it takes to, to lead. And these are some of the issues. Uh, I will continue to have a conversation with uh, Mr. President, including briefing me, briefing him on all my foreign programs, because they are not personal issues. As traditionally, former presidents go outside the country for this continental, regional program, even some international. You come home and you tell your president. So that's the tradition. So most of the time when you see me here, it's because of this uh, thing that we must do and uh, to move Nigeria forward, to move ECOWAS forward, to move the African continent forward. Your Excellency, with the current state of... Uh... That's what I exactly have been saying, because uh, we need to bring everybody, all our political leaders, including all the former presidents, together. We will not be fighting. If we fight, like, you know, this common saying that when two elephants fight, the grass suffer. If top leaders continue fighting, they will not suffer that much. But the down road is that suffer. And we want to end all this tension and so on. So we move forward as a nation.